Good morning, everybody. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these plants ready to put in my cracky system. Now, these are just uh, little romaine lettuces, and I have my perlite. I have my two-inch net cups, and I'm going to separate these just like I would do um, when I'm potting up um, any plants. So I separate these, and I have my water right next to um, my cup, and now I'm going to uh, dip the dirt off of them. So it's not too too hard to do this it's really easy you want to have a little bit of perlite in the bottom of the net cup and then you want to put the perlite around the plant so that you're just holding the plant up in the perlite so I'm going to finish up these lettuces and take them out and get them in the system so it'll take me a few minutes to do this and then I'll meet you out there with uh, all these little plants and they'll be ready to go and pop in So what I have here is little uh, Rubbermaid totes. They're three gallon totes. They are small, so if you look at the size of my hand, they're small. They hold three gallons. And I usually put four little uh, leaf lettuces in. Last year I grew leaf lettuce. What else did I grow? Um, celery, kale, spinach. I grew some spinach in it. Um, and so they're, they're just my little cracky buckets. So what I do go get my net cup here okay so I potted up these are two inch net cups they fit right in each hole so you use a hole saw that's two inch run it backwards and cut your holes make sure that your net cups have the lip buy them with the lip so that when you set them in here they don't fall through the hole now the idea of this is you fill up your bin with uh, hydroponic uh, water soluble fertilizer you fill the water level up to right about here so that the, this upper part is dry but this bottom part is wet so that you what you have is you have the roots that are up a little bit higher so they can get air roots so you want them just to come up to right about there so it, it'll keep the perlite wet the roots will eventually grow down it'll drink and then you'll get more air roots so you don't want to go all the way up to the top because then the plants will drown so you want to go to where you have just a little bit of air air part so I fill up my buckets and usually they sit over but I can't get the camera over so I can move them later the fertilizer I use is the master blend water soluble it's 10 grams of master blend 10 grams of calcium nitrate 5 grams of magnesium sulfite, which is Epsom salt. Now each one of these needs to be mixed one at a time in that order. Do not add all three ingredients together and try to mix them. They will not dissolve. These are romaine lettuce. So they grow, they grow straight up. So I can put five, I'm, in fact I'm going to put the baby here in the middle. I can put five of them in this because they're only going to get about this big and about that tall. So the next one, let's see I have three, I can go pot two more up. And so the next one I'll do the same thing with, but I think the bucket might, the five gallon bucket might be light enough that I don't have to I think I can lift it. Yeah, because there's only two and a half gallons left in here now. So really, on a five gallon bucket, and I got two of them in about the same place, so it's probably just two and a half gallons. I'm going to go pot up two more romaine and then make some more formula. So this is my cracky lettuce now that it's all done. And that's my pepper but that's not cracky. Yeah, I'm growing cracky kale and then I have romaine 
and red romaine, green romaine, and more romaine, and then just cut and come again, lettuce. Just a quick update on my cracky hydroponics that I have out here in my cracky area. Um, I do this every summer. Uh, last summer is the summer that I built this raised bench um, so I could run these these systems. Um, the lettuce has recovered real well from the heat that we had uh, last week. The and since this has only been in just for a little while, let's see, do we have do we have the roots? Start? Yep, see, now it'll start really taking off. The roots are finally starting to grow, and they will. And there's some little roots you can see them. They're just starting to come out in the system. So now this now these will, yeah. And this one, this one's got really good roots. That's why it's so big. So now that the roots are are starting to come out, what you're going to see is you're going to see this stuff take off like there is no, no tomorrow. And I'm going to have to get some sticky cards out here. Now this one isn't doing well, probably because it's just got one root. So it'll, it'll start taking off here. <clears throat> now this lettuce is actually getting big. So see, again, the roots the, the, as soon as the roots, they, this plant, these plants lay down roots, it they just they just take they just take off. So the kale looks like it's it's starting to yeah kale's already getting roots too. <clears throat> now my poor celery that just got toasted is recovering. This celery is starting to get a second heart. This starting to get a heart here. And a dead battery is my sign to go have a cup of tea. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.